everybody welcome to my channel i decided to do an accent wall in my living room so this is how it looks before i purchased the 3d wall panels on amazon and this is how they look You can use a wall adhesive such as liquid nails, but I decided to use the double-sided tape that came with the package. All right, so, so far, here's the progress that I've made. Um, so initially I started over there in the corner and then I did about three, but um, since I have a doorway on this wall, I would have had to cut when I got over here. And when you cut them, you can see the inside. Okay, so I wanted to show you all what I meant by um, cutting it, you would see it on this side. So. This is a piece I cut for the bottom. So if I were to have continued the way I was continuing and cut it from this way, then you would see this. So that's what I meant by um, starting from the doorway. So yeah, instead of it being like this, it's like this. And um, now the cuts are gonna be at the end of the wall and then at the bottom, so you don't see anything. So that wouldn't have been a good look. So I took down the three that I had up top and as you can see, it took off some of the paint. So that shows you how sturdy the tape that comes with it is. So I decided to start over here um, at the doorway, that way I won't have to cut at the doorway and I can cut on the ends over there as well. So um, I've done what I could and now the next pieces I will have to do have to be cut. So I did what all I could fill in <clears throat> before cutting. So I'm about to start on this one next with the light switch and then down here I have to cut these and over there as well. So the ones that are cut are um, more than likely going to be halves of the sheets. So we'll see how that um, goes. But um, I'm only on my second pack. So if cutting them goes as I think it will go, I will only need to use half of each sheet and like what I'm th what I'm saying is half should well that well that should be half so half of one and the other half so that should be one square right now that's what I'm hoping will happen I have to measure them to see and um, that means that this will be one this will be one and then I have to cut a small piece here and then um, to fill in right here I did use two whole sheets instead of cutting them. And um, I didn't line them up with these, but I did line it up this way. Uh oh. And um, up top, on top of the TV, let me show you all. On top of the TV, I did have to put um, two pieces there. I cut them in half. So I used one square to cut half for this one here a half for this one because um, when you're far away you could see that you could see the wall so um, yeah I'm just gonna work on the pieces that have to be cut and then I'm gonna have to do these up here and then the sides over here and I'm trying to see I guess I'll save that for the end but um 
basically in between each crack on camera you well from this far away on camera you can't really see in between each square so it's blending good on camera but as you get up close let me come over here as you get up close oops, you can see like in between so it's not really bad um but i'm gonna think about if i'm gonna caulk it to see but i definitely will have to do something up there to the top i couldn't get them as even as possible but i mean they still look good and nobody can tell you can't really tell until you're up close but yeah so this is the progress i've made so far just have to cut and move on from there i'm hoping that this will only take the remaining um one box i'm hoping well either way i'm gonna have to use the last two boxes i'm gonna have to use the last box because i want to use it as my backsplash in the kitchen as well but yeah this is the progress i've made and i really like it so far all right you all so here is the finished product i'm about to look closer to show you all i know it's a little dark but all right so i turned the flash on it still doesn't help but i mean yeah, so this is the size over here. <clears throat> and right here is where I cut out the light switch. And then over here, I cut some little small pieces. So I made that work. And then, of course, behind the fireplace, I didn't go down there because I'm gonna always have a fireplace there. But I did put um, one here. And then a half one here. And then here is this side close to the wall. It looks really good and I love it. I love it. Um, I'm also going to be doing this in my son's bedroom as well. He wants black ones. So I'll have another video of that in a few weeks. But yeah, this is the final result. It wasn't that hard. It just takes time to plan what you're trying to do, especially with the doorway. If it's just a flat wall, you only have to worry about cutting one end. But with the doorway, it's a little more difficult and takes a lot more thought into, okay, look, this is what I'm going to do. And also with the light switches as well. But yeah, overall, this was um, um, a great way to make a wall look nice um, and pop out without painting it. And yeah, so thank you all for watching and be sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to stay up to date with me, I'll try to do more home projects. Um, and yeah, see you guys next time.